Why am I telling you about contracts, your social security number, security bonds? Well, if you were paying attention to my previous videos, we started talking about the three branches of Congress, which are legislative, executive, and judicial. That's important. Write those three words down. It's a reason why I'm telling you guys about this stuff. Now, let's skip back over and talk about security agreements, bonds, and social security numbers. You, if you don't have an EIN number, you are operating as a straw man. You are operating in leges. If you don't know what this means, I suggest you write them down and go to YouTube or to a dictionary and study for at least eight hours a day about these terms. You're operating in leges. What does in leges mean? It means you are a fictitious person. You are a straw man. That means you're not real. Anytime you have a child, and you give that child a birth certificate and a social security number, it is recorded on the Federal Reserve, on the Treasury and the Uniform Commercial Code. It states, hey, we have a new quote unquote straw man, slave or freak person, and we can begin trading this social security number on primary and secondary stock markets. When you become 18, your bond is mature. What is your bond? Your birth certificate. When you turn 18, your bond is mature. We'll get into that later. Now, when you begin working, you have to give your employer your social security number. Why is this? Have you ever asked yourself this question? That is because once you provide your social security number, your demographic information, and you sign it, and the employer sign it, this becomes a secured document. It becomes a security agreement. The security agreement is this is then placed on the stock market as well as secondary markets to be traded. Okay, so this is why you see taxes, a list of taxes assessed to your check every single week. How do you get out of this crazy scheme of being taxed on your own money? Because basically, the money that you're getting paid is coming from your treasury account. This is not money that Walmart, Target, or JCPenney has set aside for their employees to be paid. No, the money is coming from your personal treasury account and it's being taxed. So you're basically working as a slave and being taxed for it. This is true information. If you don't believe me, just research the Uniform Commercial Code and get an, a true understanding of consumer law on the public and private side. Now, you want to stop doing business on the public side. So this means you want to stop using your social security number to trade on the stock market. Thus, you're not going to be an employee. You're going to be a 1099, which is your own employer. And the only way that you can do this to become a contract employer, to become a contract employee, is by receiving an EIN number. I'll get to that in a later video. But for right now, I want you guys to rewind. Go back. And listen to everything I just said and study that knowledge for later.